In the midst of the assembly he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. He clothed him with a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate this Mass in remembrance of the great saint, Dominic Guzman, let us now pause and call to mind our sins. And think of all the times that we have not lived as we have been called to live. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you've enlightened your church to the teachings and merits of the Blessed Confessor, Father Dominic. May the church never be deprived of help on earth, but always advance in spiritual growth through his intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is coming to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, I charge you to preach the word of God, to stay with this task, whether convenient or inconvenient, correcting, reproving, appealing, constantly teaching, and never losing patience. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires will surround themselves with teachers who tickle their ears. They will stop listening to the truth and will wander off to fables. As for you, be steady and self-possessed. Put up with hardship. Perform your work as an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The just man shall blossom like the lily, and shall flower forever before the Lord. Alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my mind and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but what if salt goes flat? How can you restore its flavor? Then it is good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Men do not light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. They set it on a stand where it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before all men and women, so that they may see goodness in your acts and give praise to your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. Today we remember the life of the great Saint Dominic. Saint Dominic and Saint Francis were friends, companions, and co-workers in Christ's vineyard. Each 
going to different segments of society to preach the good news, Francis saw his calling as to serve the least of God's people, to be an image of the poor Christ, where Dominic saw himself as going to those who had fallen from the path of true belief to those who were the movers and shakers of his time to bring the light of Christ through preaching and study. The first reading today is, is a very good description of what Dominic did. I charge you to preach the word, to stay with this task, whether convenient or inconvenient, correcting, reproving, appealing, constantly teaching, and never losing patience. Dominic saw he and his order, the friar's preacher, preachers, to be doing just that, to study and to take the fruit of their study out into the world, to teach, to preach, to correct heresy, to be an enlightener. In fact, there's a legend that when Dominic's mother was pregnant, she had a dream where a dog a black and white dog carrying a torch was to be the child that she was to bear. And the, the, the black and white dog is, is an interesting little um, a humorous description of what was to become the Dominican order because Dominicanes means dogs of the Lord. And the torch that he was carrying was the light of Christ into a dark world. We too, my brothers and sisters, are called to be dogs of the Lord, to carry that light into the world around us, to preach not only with our words, but more importantly, with our lives, and to help bring others to Christ and his message of love. Let us pray for the church, especially for those followers of St. Dominic, that they may always be a light in the world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for our communities, that we too may be a light, a refuge, and a hope for all peoples. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer all the sick and the suffering, that they may be granted the graces they need, and healing and strength and courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of the dead, that they may be received into a place of life, rest, and peace. Lord, hear our prayer for your own petitions. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, help us to follow St. Dominic as he takes the light of Christ into a dark world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, for truth is given in human hands and made, that it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. I have the mystery of this water and wine, and we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer from the divine and work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Sanctify the offering we have dedicated to you, O Lord, so that it may restore us to health through the merits of your blessed confessor, Father Dominic. 
Yes, this is through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right, just proper, and helpful towards salvation that we always and everywhere give thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for the glory and defense of your holy church, you will to restore the apostolic way of life through the most blessed patriarch, Dominic. Always strengthened by the help of the mother of your son, he stamped out heresies by his preaching, established champions of the faith for the salvation of nations, and won ownership and won innumerable souls to Christ. Peoples proclaim his wisdom, and the church declares his praises. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominations, and all the militant hosts of heaven, we continuously praise your glory in the song and say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We come to you, Father, in this spirit of thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and to bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church, watch over and guide it, grant it peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Francis the Pope, for John our Bishop, and for all who hold and teach the faith that comes to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray, for all those followers of Dominic, for all those who stand most in need of our prayer. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and all who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole church, we honor the memory of the saints. We honor Mary, the Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ our Lord. We honor Joseph, her husband, the apostles Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cassaginus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, the martyrs, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant help and protection. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life, and save us from final dam save us from final damnation, and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering, make it truly spiritual and acceptable. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ your only Son, our Lord. The day before he suffered, he took bread, and looking up to heaven to you as Almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. So now, Lord, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. With favor on these offerings and accept them as you did the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven, and as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died. For all the deceased members of the three orders of St. Dominic, that they may be in a place of life, rest in peace. 
They have gone before us marked with the sign of faith and are now at rest. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask a place with your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Through him you give us all these things, you fill them with life and goodness, you bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. And your mercy keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and banish the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, at your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. In the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we eternal life to us and receive it. The faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will set over his household to give them their ration of grain in new, due time. Let us pray. Almighty God, may the intercession of your blessed confessor, Father Dominic, sustain us who are weighted down by our sins. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, Sister People of Falling, it strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you bore your Creator, and to many virgin after as before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor sinners.